So, I'm not sure if this should be counted as, you know, a part of Feminazi Week. But if this is feminism, then feminism has officially went down a level. Completely. It is... It has become lower than shit right now. So, basically, there's a campaign. Get this. There's a campaign to ban the word bossy. I'm not joking. There's a campaign to ban the word bossy. Like, here's the video. This is Ban Bossy. Take one. Pushy. Stubborn. Stubborn. Pushy. Pushy. Stubborn. Stubborn. Bossy. 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 When I was growing up, I was called bossy. I think the word bossy is just a squasher. Being labeled something matters. By middle school, girls are less interested in leadership than boys. And that's because they worry about being called bossy. We need to tell them it's OK to be ambitious. We need to help them lean in. Words matter. Let's just ban the word bossy. And encourage girls to lead. To be strong and be ambitious. Listen to your own voice. There are no limits. Dare to be you. You can change the world. Let's ban bossy. Be brave. Be you. Ban bossy. Join us to ban bossy. I'm not bossy. I'm the boss. Encourage girls to lead. Take the pledge at banbossy.com. So, let me get this straight. Women apparently are so goddamn sensitive that if they even hear the word bossy, they would crumble down, break down, probably break into tears, and not and and feel completely discouraged by a, a simple word, a, a word that's not even you know demeaning, demeaningful, especially towards women. It, it, I mean, I can understand the word bitch, or, I don't know, cunt, but bossy? Really? Oh my fucking god. Really, you're going to ban the word bossy? <sighs> this isn't sexist towards men. No, 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 no. This, this is not. This is sexist towards women, because... These people are telling other women that because you are incapable of dealing with criticism as a leader, they decide to take away those criticisms so that way you don't have to feel like uh, feel like you're all uh, like some sort of mean tyrant or whatever. You know, we. You know, the leader should feel like he's the king of the world. He shouldn't receive any criticism. No, 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 no. You know. I mean, wow. Just fucking wow. There are women out there that can handle the criticism. They can handle being called bitch, bossy, cunt, asshole. Uh, I don't know. Shithead. Fucktard. Whatever. These women are capable of taking, taking um, insults to their face. But women like this one, and I'm surprised Beyonce is behind this shit. I mean, out of all the people, I can understand Helen. I can maybe understand some random lesbian. But Beyonce? Really? I fucking love Beyonce. And now, all of a sudden... It's like a big middle finger at my face saying, Hey, atheist gamer, guess what? I support this sort of stupidity. God damn you, Beyonce. Why? Why would you do this? Why? Oh, why, Beyonce? Why? Let me try to put this in a nutshell. 
if they happen to succeed into banning, banning the word bossy, then who knows what else they could ban. For all we know, they could make it illegal to criticize their, you know, we, we can't criticize female leaders. So if our president is a female and, you know, there's a law saying that you can't criticize our, you know, our female leader, then that's not freedom of speech. This is, this is free, this is the worst kind of feminism. This is the absolute worst. This is suppression of freedom of speech. This isn't just, you know, against men. This is against women. This is against everyone. Because if we can't even criticize our leaders, our female leaders, then America would become pussified. We wouldn't be living in the United States of America. We'd be living in the United States of pussification. And if this this happened to pass, then I might actually start believing that homosexuality is a choice. I might actually start believing in that because, you know, men are starting to look very attractive right now. They really are. <sighs> but at any case, we should not ban the word bossy, okay? Because it's, it's, it's not even that harmful. Women need to learn to grow a backbone. And if these women don't grow a backbone, if they really do crumble down by the word bossy, that they're not meant to be leaders. They're not meant to lead at all. They are meant to follow. That's about it. Instead of telling women that they didn't need, to, they don't have to deal with criticism. Instead, they need to grow some backbone, and these women need to tell them that criticism. You have to face criticism, whether or not you don't like it. You still have to face it. And you can't silence people for criticizing you because then you'll be suppressing their freedom of speech. It's that simple. So that's all for now. Feminazi Week is about to come to an end. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace.